The Arab's answer is to export and deny. Exportation and denial, regardless of what the topic is. Export the issue to Britain, and deny even happens. Well, it does. 3,451 in 2015. 18 of which were under 16. DCU Debate Society's first event of the year took place last Thursday and saw students debate the issue of abortion. They discussed the pros and cons of repealing the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution, which criminalises abortion in Ireland. Our side is currently against the Eighth Amendment simply because a vote against the Eighth Amendment is a vote for complete and utter uncertainty. What will replace the Eighth Amendment in legislation? Nobody knows. Nobody has come up with a plan. The pro-choice side has not given us a legal plan which they aspire to follow. So the vote for against the Eighth Amendment is a vote for complete and utter uncertainty. It leaves a void in legislation which then can be exploited any which way and nobody knows which way that could go. They are awful I feel, ordeals that women go through. No matter how awful they are, they, it is still the ordeal of an abortion, of going through an abortion, of being aborted, I would argue, is a greater ordeal <coughs> than having the abortion performed on yourself. And, um, the crowd was also addressed by two keynote speakers on either side of the debate, which provoked a passionate response from one audience member. Okay, the murder issue, let's deal with it. If you believe it's murder, don't do it, okay? And if you don't believe it's murder, you shouldn't be stopped doing it. Most people in the world do not believe it's murder. You have no authority at all. Your profession is an easy. Okay. Though the second speaker who argued on the pro life side attracted a less heated response. People here tonight need to be cognizant of the positive impact and influence the Eighth Amendment has had upon society. The truth is, a repeal of the Eighth Amendment would inevitably result in lives being lost. We heard Craig mention earlier, what way is this to treat women? When in fact we know, when we look to the UK, an investigation um, by a newspaper in 2012 stated very clearly that abortions are taking place on grounds of gender. And guess which, which gender is being discriminated against and which gender is being aborted? female babies. What way is that to treat unborn female babies? What way is it? What way do we treat women? What way do we hold them within regard in our society? We spoke to society chair Seamus Cummins about organising the event and making sure both sides received fair representation. Okay, so to keep debate impartial, like it, it, it's it's really hard, especially with such contentious topical issues. Like I did a little speech at the start. I just wanted to make sure that no one heckled. I, I didn't want anything happening that was like not above board. It can you can lose track of um of your head when matters of the heart come involved. You know, t topical issues like this really does just split the population. So we had um, guest speakers from both sides, both sides were well represented with boys and girls speakers and uh, we were completely impartial. The Debate Society's next event will focus on the issue of political correctness and whether political correctness has gone too far. Rebecca Lonely, DCTV News.